There was even magic, like when I saw the truck scene and you, the way you're eating burgers. I'm like, that's how brothers would really eat burgers together. <laughs> no females around, not trying to impress anybody. Stanley, for you, no your portrayal of like, I know that you've all said in a previous interview that the most fun you probably had on set was the party scene. Mm -hmm. Can you kind of talk about that? Um, just sort of belting it out. I know you sang a high school musical song and I want to know what song that was. <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, <laughs> bre breaking free. Breaking free. Uh hey guys, and welcome to the Celebrity Expert, your number one source for all things TV shows and celebrities. And in today's video, we're going to look at the Iron Claws cast's funny moments. In the showmanship quality, that was something that didn't necessarily come naturally to him. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a really cool color. Also, just the ability to, to get with these guys, these really fantastic actors, and work out a complicated, sad, uh, but ultimately really beautiful uh, family story was really exciting. Before we begin with this video, here's a quick and an easy question for you all. Can you all tell us how old the Zac Efron is? If you know the right answer, let us know in the comment section down below or stick to the end of the video, which is when I'm going to reveal the answer to this question. Like we had sort of all kind of just freeing. been shaved down. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, because they have to yes. shave your whole body. Did y'all? I heard that y'all did that. Did y'all do that together? You all got. We, <laughs> at the same yeah, time, we held hands. Very nice yeah. romance. Yeah. 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 Shave. Very nice no romance. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you what. It, it instantly made us brothers. Yeah, it did. No going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're just in it together. Shorthand is some On intimacy there. Embarrassment. Yeah. Yeah. Stepping into the ring is one very buff, very agile, jot wearing Zac Efron. Ever the chameleon, he's continuously reinvented himself in new roles throughout the past year as he's walked through horror films and epic war dramas and found himself sweaty and bloody on the springboards in the upcoming wrestling biopic, The Iron Claw. Who among the cast has the best uh, impersonation of other wrestlers? <laughs> I'm going to give a very easy answer to this question. I think Harris is best Harris, at it. Yeah. <laughs> the hands that will deliver the Iron Claw to you. Yes, he's a big wrestling fan. He goes way back and he's seen yeah. a lot of... Uh, the greats in person, man. He's he's fun to talk to about it. Yeah, I know that over the course of training for the movie, I would like, you know, it would keep me keep me up at night. Covering the triumphant and tragic story of the Warren Erich wrestling family, they have had a long-lasting dynasty within the ring that is ongoing today. There's this strange moment between takes where we were out in the sportatorium with like hundreds of amazing like supporting artists who were cheering us on. And then you, you know, the camera cuts and you sort of stood there in hot <laughs> pants and you just feel like, okay, I'm gonna waddle back to the green. <laughs> yeah, grab a water, water, yeah, yeah, grab a water. Yeah, because yeah, the, like, yeah. the adrenaline of a take where everyone's shouting, it's like. It's yeah. one thing to be out there wrestling. Led by patriarch of the family, wrestler Fritz von Erich, Five of his six sons followed his footsteps and became wrestlers, but the toll the support and fame took resulted in death of four sons. You know, it, it, just becoming someone else and and uh, you know the wrestling there, you know, yeah. it's it's it takes a lot. These guys were like, He's like let me take a moment <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to support you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a chance, <laughs> I promise. Can, can I say oh, something? Yeah. Like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, go. <laughs> no, I just want to say that like you know uh, coming from someone who was you know not a big big name at all and 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 this is my first like large scale production. Their life outside wrestling became just as famous as their professional lives, and the Iron Claw will focus on what many have referred to as one. A rich curse. In addition to focusing on the family's groundbreaking contributions to wrestling, I, still want, that. I want it written out. <laughs> yeah, I would like. I, like, I want to know exactly routine. what happened because you look. I mean, it's like it's I so look like a crazy. fat dad in that photo. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Uh, look at that. Look at my little pop belly. Look at that. Really oh come on! You did. You put on weight after that. I I let it go a bit. David wasn't like a ripped guy, so I was like, I'm not gonna be ripped either. I mean <laughs> but but The Iron Claw has been scheduled to hit theaters on December twenty second, twenty twenty three. This means that the film will be opening up against a crowded week that already includes movies such as Illuminations Migration, the DC superhero sequel Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, the musical remake of the Color Purple George Clooney's The Best in the Boat, and Michael Mann's long awaited Ferrari. I can't uh I told Sean I can try to act that big. Yeah. But I don't know if I can act, you know, two feet taller. Yeah. Two hundred pounds more. You know, it would be. You uh, have be your tough. own words. I read in an interview. You, you described yourself as a short king. No, 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 no. Not my own words. Not your own words. No, Whose words? No, no, no. This is very embarrassing for me. I would not call myself 
that. Okay. The Iron Claw will initially be released exclusively in theaters. However, once the film's exclusive theatrical window ends, it will become available to stream on the Max streaming service. Ah, uh, it really is. He's just the greatest. He is so sweet and so incredible in this movie. I can't like say enough. I mean, we got to have such intimate, sweet scenes where they're falling in love, and he's mm -hmm. kind of opening up to this whole other side of himself. But then the rest of the time, he's doing all the all that wrestling. Yeah. He's doing. Yeah. He is, he is phenomenal in this movie. To get in that kind yeah, of shape. The a deal was struck between A24 and Warner Bros. Discovery, which gave the latter the streaming rights to the art house titles catalog of films, including one's fresh form from the big screen. The Iron Claw will join another recent A24 films on the streaming service, including Sofia Coppola's Priscilla. I feel like it's gotta be Zach. Like, Zach is still <laughs> in really crazy shape. <laughs> I, I feel like I just let myself go. Oh, we, we 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 could all get up there with a little uh, bit of. I mean, you can't. It wasn't very. You know, it, you know, Kevin wasn't necessarily the best on the mic, but but I mean, he wasn't. Bad. I mean, but be like, but I feel like you would be great. Yeah. You know? oh, oh man. Uh, we'll see. I think it's something we've that would be really fun to do. Maybe we could do it for promotion for the film. The Iron Claw will tell the tragic true story behind the Von Erich wrestling family and the unfortunate Von Erich curse that haunted them outside the ring. The film will largely revolve around Kevin Von Erich's story, who was the second oldest Von Erich son and the only surviving son of Fritz and Doris Von Erich. Inevitably, they call cut, you know, and then you're kind of just standing there looking around in your underwear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're like oiled up. And you're like, you don't like, honestly, you're trying to figure out what to do after they call cut and you don't have the character to rely on or like someone to fight. It's like, you don't know how to stand, man. That was, <laughs> like, do you cross your legs and lean on the, on the ring? Like, it was, it was uh, everywhere you look, everyone's already looking at you. The Iron Claw is written and directed by Sean Durkin. Known for his sparse, dark dramas, his breakthrough film came as the writer and director of 2011 psychological thriller Martha Marcy May Merlin, starring Elizabeth Olsen. He went on to write and direct the 2020 family drama The Nest, starring Jude Law and Carrie Coon, which dives into the complex relationship between siblings, like the Iron Claw. Stanley, were you relieved you didn't have to get as big as Zach? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I I was yeah, I was eating a lot and, and working out, but I, I definitely you know these guys were going hard and I um and I, I tried, but uh, I don't think yeah I don't think I could get did, the degree. You did look good. You're great, man. Perry, I want you to join your brothers in the ring. Yes. Traveling outside the ring, director and writer Sean Durkin is diving into the shared belief among fans of the Von Erich curse and the tumultuous relationship between the famous brothers. Five out of the six Von Erich siblings died premature deaths, leading to a myth that the family had a curse placed upon them. Also featuring the tragic story of the family's younger brothers and fellow wrestlers Mike and Chris Von Erich, the film will focus on how their father Fritz created a long-lasting dynasty that helped move the wrestling world forward. Well, I saw it in London. WWE came to London when I was a kid, and I went. It was at Rey Mysterio, John Cena, oh, oh, and it was like... How old were you? Um, 25. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, um, I was like 13, maybe? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a big moment. It was yeah. the last one. Yeah. But then we went in, in New Orleans. Yeah, we went yeah, in New yeah. Orleans. Harris and I went in New Orleans. There's also an immense pressure from Fitz, fatigue from fighting and fame, which resulted in suicide of three sons and one from illness, leading to the long-lasting myth that the family had a curse placed upon them. I'm obsessed with the bear. Is that a guilty pleasure, Zach? <laughs> Isn't it? Sometimes I put the bear on and pretend that Jeremy's shouting at me, you know? Anytime. Anytime, anytime you need me. Yeah. I do love reality. Reality is interesting. Below deck. Below I deck. After. Below deck. Yeah. Amazing. There's so many seasons of it. You can pop in at any time. All right, guys, so the answer to the question I asked you at the beginning of the video is 36. Yes, Zac Efron is 36 years old. If you got this answer right, then you're a huge fan of Zac Efron. And he was like, we got this. I was like, really? Sure, I don't think I can throw you. He goes, you just run up the ropes and then just hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was he's like, taking you on a ride. Yeah, he's yeah. like, I'm just gonna take you for a ride. I was yeah. like, all right, sweet. <laughs> and then like, I remember I, the first time I did it, I made, I made this sound when he pulled me over. I was like, eee! <laughs> I was like, I need to not do that when we're filming. Also, these guys are so good with their reaction. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you all really enjoyed this one. If you did, do like, share, and comment on this video. And do not forget to subscribe to The Celebrity Expert. And we'll see you around next time with another brand new video. Till then, keep watching The Celebrity Expert. Bye, guys.